of course, we, we said that the prophets will be resurrected first, and then, of course, uh, everybody will come after. And we also know that the jinn will be resurrected, but we have no explicit hadith about how, because we do not know the bodies of the jinns or the, 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 the essence of the jinns. We don't know. In any case, they will obviously be resurrected because the Quran is very explicit that you will all be resurrected on the Day of Judgment. The small controversy occurs over non-animal, I mean, non, uh, 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 non- humans and jinns, the other animals, the other species. Will they be resurrected or not? Or will only the jinn and the ins be resurrected. One group of scholars said, why would the animals be resurrected? It doesn't make any sense to resurrect the animals. However, uh, this appears to be uh, an opinion that goes against explicit ayat, verses in the Quran, and a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Azza wa says in the Quran, وَإِذَا الْوُحُوشُ حُشِرَتْ This is hashr. وَإِذَا الْوُحُوشُ حُشِرَتْ And wuhush means wild beasts. When the wild beasts will be resurrected. So even the beasts and the animals and the ants and the insects, everything that ever had a ruh will be resurrected on the day of judgment. And Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا مِن دَابَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا طَائِدٍ يَطِيرُ بِجَنَاحَيْهِ إِلَّا أُمًا أُمَمٌ أَمْثَالُكُمْ مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ ثُمَّ إِلَى رَبِّهِمْ يُحْشَرُونَ There is not a single beast on this earth. Dabba is a walking beast, like a horse is a dabba, a bear is a dabba, a lion is a dabba. There is no dabba on this earth, nor even a bird in the heavens, except that they have civilizations like you. Means they have groups and species like you. We haven't left anything out of this book, and then on the day of judgment, they will all be resurrected. It's explicit in the Quran. And then on the day of judgment, uh, يحشرون, they will be resurrected in front of their Lord. And why will the animals be resurrected? What is the purpose of animals being resurrected? Because animals do not have heaven and hell. Animals do not have Jannah and Nar. However, our Prophet explained to us why animals will be resurrected. Because animals will be resurrected to make sure that justice is meted out even amongst the other creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. How? It's not our concern or our knowledge. But justice will be demonstrated on that day even to animals because Allah Azza wa Jal is the ultimate one who is just. And Allah does not allow zulm to happen and to go unchecked. And this should send shivers down the spine of anyone who does dhulm to any other being. If Allah will not even allow an animal to get away with injustice, how then for a human to another human? Even an animal that unjustly attacks or harms another animal on judgment day, they will have to answer to Allah and within their mechanism, we do not know how because there is no heaven and hell for the animals. There's no taklif for the animals. There's no legal responsibility. Yet somehow justice will be meted out. How do we know this? Hadith is in Sahih Muslim that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Wallahi, by Allah, every single creation will argue with others on the day of judgment, meaning everybody will be suing everybody else that they knew to try to get good deeds, right? Like in this society, we have a free-for-all suing. This is nothing compared to Qiyamah. Everyone will try to get whatever they can from anyone else. They're going to be so desperate. Until, he said, even two goats that butted against one another with their horns, the one that had full horns and the one that didn't, the one that didn't will complain that this one attacked me because it's not fair that it attacked and we're not on equal footing, right? This is dhulm. This is dhulm now that this one attacked me and it should not have attacked me. So even two goats, one of them did dhulm to another. Now, does this mean that the gazelle will complain to Allah that the lion ate it? No, because this is not injustice. This is not injustice. Allah Azza wa Jal has created 
this mechanism and checks and balances. This is not injustice. The lion has the haq to go hunt the gazelle in the sharia of Allah Azza wa Jal. But there is dhulm that takes place even within the animal kingdom. And they know when they should and they should not do. And the Prophet gave an example. When the goat that is fully formed butts its, you know, its, its, its horns against the one that is not, the one that doesn't have it. This is an unfair battle now between the same species. You should not be doing that. So the one that didn't have the horns will complain to Allah that this creature, this animal was unjust to me. And Allah Azza wa Jal will deal with that on the Day of Judgment. So no injustice will go unchecked on that day, even between animals. And we also know that in the hadith it is mentioned that after the animal's hisab is done, after the animal's hisab is done, they shall then be returned to dust. Okay, so they will go back to dust. And when the kafir sees the animals dissolving and disappearing, the kafir will say, which is in the Quran, وَيَقُولُ الْكَافِرُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ تُرَابًا Okay, so this also shows that the animals will be resurrected because the uh, kafir when he sees well these guys got out of it now these guys don't have to worry about 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 the punishment of Allah how I wish that I was an animal or I was like the animals now and I could get out of it so this clearly uh, demonstrates that the animals will also be uh, resurrected a day that is 50,000 years long a day that is 50,000 years long one day with Allah is equivalent to 1,000 years of our time. And on this day, my brothers, every single person will be held accountable for everything they uttered, for everything they looked at, for every action that they did. And if you think you're going to be okay, prophets and messengers were terif are terrified of this day. The Prophet ﷺ was walking with a companion and in front of them was two animals and they were fighting. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says to the Sahabi, he says to him, uh, he says to him, do you know what they're fighting about? Animals. So the companion says to him, no, Prophet Allah, I don't know, the animals. He says to Allah knows what they're fighting about. And on the day of judgment, Allah will bring justice between them. He's telling him Allah knows why they're fighting and on the day of judgment Allah will bring justice between them. That if a horned animal harmed an animal that didn't have horns on the day of judgment Allah Azza wa Jal is going to remove the horns from the horned animal place them on the animal that didn't have horns and then Allah will allow that animal to take its rights back. And such is that day. And brothers feel like, well, you know, we can walk around the streets and we can run amok. And worse, justify their filth, justify their crimes through deen.